Today we're taking booze in the kitchen and making creme de menthe. For this recipe, you're gonna need a measuring cup, a pot, a wooden spoon, a mixing bowl, a large strainer, a fine mesh strainer, and a bottle with an airtight lid. Or in this case, a cork. The ingredients are water, sugar, vodka, and of course, mint. When you think of creme de menthe, you probably picture a bright bottle of neon green liquid that looks like green apple pucker. That's called green creme de menthe, and it's a staple of some heinous, overly sweet, kitschy drinks and shooters. Then there's this, which is known as white creme de menthe, or simply creme de menthe. In this case, it has a yellow hue because of the unbleached sugar. It's definitely a sweet liqueur. However, served up in a chilled glass, it's a refreshing after-dinner drink, and it's a component to some classic cocktails. Creme de menthe was created by a French pharmacist in the 1800s. With its combination of mint, sugar, and spirit, it's in the same neighborhood as a mojito, or a caipirinha, but it's definitely not a spirit forward. Creme de menthe is a light and easy drink that's gentle on every palate. There are several recipes for homemade creme de menthe, but this one's my favorite because it infuses the mint in the syrup and not the vodka. Doing the infusion in the vodka makes it easier to oversteep the mint, which would impart a bitter flavor. Infusing in the syrup reduces the possibility of oversteeping. This recipe is adapted from the 12 bottle bar by Leslie and David Salmonson. Their recipe makes a bigger batch. With this recipe, we're shooting for about three cups, or about 700 milliliters of creme de menthe. But scale it as you need it. There's no need for a top shelf vodka on this one. A mid to low range will do just fine. Let's start by making simple syrup. Measure a cup of sugar, add that to the pot. Measure a cup of water, and add that to the pot. Turn it on medium heat, and stir continuously until the sugar has been dissolved. Remove the mixture from heat, measure out a cup of loosely packed mint, add that to your mixing bowl. Pour the warm simple syrup over the leaves and give it a quick stir. Then let it sit overnight at room temperature, about seven hours or so. If you're worried about ants, feel free to cover the bowl. The next day, strain out the mint leaves. This recipe should yield about a cup and a half of mint syrup. Next, add the same amount of vodka, in this case, a cup and a half, making three cups total. Then use the fine mesh strainer when you pour it into your bottle. That'll collect any bits of mint leaves your bigger strainer missed. Pop in the cork and store it in the fridge. And that's all there is to it. Homemade creme de menthe. Santé. Click here for more videos. Be sure to subscribe and check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.